Now, back to our story on Ayla Reynolds, the toddler who's been missing for more than four years. Here's Michelle Sagana. Matt, Ayla's mother tells me she believes the little girl's father knows a lot more than what he's sharing with police. And in a nasty caught on tape confrontation outside the courthouse, she goes face to face with him. Justin, just look me in the eye so I can see her. A heartbroken mother's frustration erupts outside of a main courthouse. No, you care. Trista Reynolds desperately wants answers from one of the last people to see her baby daughter Ayla alive. Justin DiPietro, Ayla's dad. Justin, look at me. Ask him, ask you do want to look at me. But he's not talking. Do you remember this, Justin? What are you doing? Here? Justin's mother, Phoebe DiPietro, even turning the tables. I am Ayla's grandmother, and I believe she's alive. And I am her mother. Slinging accusations that it was Trista who took this beautiful little girl. Yes, do you believe that she's it? alive and tell us Folks. what you did with her? Folks. After four agonizing years without her daughter, Trista is left chasing the truth as to what really happened inside this house in Waterville, Maine. What are you doing? You guilty, you wouldn't cry. I just wanting my answers. I, it's all I've ever wanted. It's like I can see it in his eyes that he wants to tell me, but he's too scared. Justin, his sister Alicia, and his then girlfriend Courtney Roberts were all in the house that night. 19 month old Ayla disappeared. They all claim they had nothing to do with the toddler's disappearance and insist she was kidnapped from her bed by a stranger. But Maine State Police are adamant this was no abduction. We thought foul play was involved, likely from the very start. They say there's plenty of evidence, and it all leads them to one sad conclusion. Little Ayla is dead. Trista tells me detectives showed her pictures of Ayla's blood found throughout the house, in her bed, on her favorite doll, in her car seat, all over the basement where Justin was sleeping, and even on his shoes. I think seeing the pictures are things I'll never I'll uh, never forget. It's kind of like when you close your eyes, it's always a flashback. Police still won't name a suspect, but Ayla's grandfather, Ronald Reynolds, says he's confident Ayla was murdered. And in several published reports, he claims the motive was money. Three days before she went missing, he took out an insurance policy out on her. How much was the insurance policy for? $10,000. Trista says on the days leading up to her daughter's disappearance, there were troubling signs. Little Ayla's arm was broken in what Justin called an accident. And a number of news outlets have reported Justin began sending disturbing text messages to Trista. He sent messages like, you're never going to see her again. And sometimes I feel like those were messages of like giving me warning. Do you think that, that it was an accident or what do you think happened? I just think things got really out of hand and he didn't he didn't know how to handle it the way that he should. But Justin maintains his innocence. In fact, he told a local newspaper he took a polygraph test and quote, I smoked it. The only proper answer you could say is I told the truth. I passed my polygraph. Instead, he said, I smoked it. As if it was a junior high math test that somehow he got passed. This was a child that went missing. Peter Hyatt is a statement analyst, a sort of human lie detector who helps police with cold cases. How did you get involved in Ayla's case? Ayla's case um, touched me emotionally through the news, but it was the initial statement that the father of the missing child had made that caught my attention. What exactly did he say? He referenced her in the past tense. Referencing someone in the past tense is an indication of knowledge or belief that the child is dead. We asked Peter to analyze some of Justin's statements. I spoke briefly with the Today Show in 2012 and said, quote, I would never do anything to harm my daughter. Is this statement deceptive? And if so, why? Okay, the statement has no commitment. He did not say, I did not harm my child. He said, I would not. And there's a difference there. Peter says the most telling statement may be in that heated confrontation in front of the courthouse between Trista and Justin's mom, Phoebe. What she does is she challenges Trista, what did you do with Ayla? Then tell us Folks. what you did with her. But turns away knowing there's no answer to that. What we saw with uh, Phoebe DiPietro was a bullying of Trista Reynolds. Up next, 
Justin's sister Alicia speaks out for the first time about what she says really happened inside that house. Officially on the record, I will say 